Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. I am really freaking tired. We've been going like crazy, trying to get this body ready for primer. You saw in the last video, we got the body primed. Everything's cured now. And uh, now that we got our first batch of priming done, uh, what we've decided is because of the time crunch I have going on, uh, we, we're gonna take this over to Mike's shop where he has a paint booth at his personal shop and he can do the last of the priming blocking, and then of course the paint and clear. Uh, I'm gonna give him a hand today, moving the body and all the parts over there, and I'm gonna give him a hand as I've been doing, uh, getting stuff ready and, and just helping out him out the best that I can. Uh, what we're trying to, what we're running into here is, I haven't really mentioned it on the channel, but we're doing a neat little uh, pinup photo shoot here in the shop this coming Saturday, so today is Tuesday. Uh, this coming Saturday is a pinup shoot we're doing where I have partnered uh, with Ava Day Photography to do a neat little uh, pinup shoot here. And we're gonna film the process and kind of show you guys what it's like to do a pinup fo photo shoot. And uh, what that means is, is the place can't be a pigsty. Um, it's a working garage, but everything is covered in dust. Even though we made this booth, everything is covered in dust. And in order to get this place clean in time, I need to get this car out of here and uh, knock down this little bodywork booth. So Mike was nice enough to offer up a little corner of his booth that we can, uh, he can work on the, the, the final primer stuff and then of course the paint and clear. So what we're doing today is Mike and myself are going to take the body, all the parts, load them into my truck. We're gonna take a run down there, start working on uh, blocking out some of the primer and uh, just show you guys basically where we're at by the end of the night. And hopefully tonight isn't another one of those 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. nights. Fingers crossed. Lots of coffee. Let's go. What's up guys? Mike here doing the last of the body work on the T project before paint. So we're in the home stretch here, just doing the sanding on the urethane primer, uh, making sure everything's perfect for the paint work. Um, one of the things we're always taught about doing body work in general is never use anything other than a block. You can't use your fingers with a piece of sandpaper typically because you're going to dig holes and make ridges in the edge of the panel. 
or in the sur the flat surfaces. The edges, it sometimes makes sense to break the rules a little bit. Use a piece of sandpaper by itself and kind of bend it to the panel and then randomize your sanding pattern. And if you sand like that, it's actually going to make the edges nice and smooth. If you use a block, you're gonna make those facets, which are all gonna be visible in the final paintwork. So break the rules a little bit sometimes and just do whatever it takes to get the panel smooth.
All right, so you guys just saw the shots from last night when we were uh, painting and clear coating the car and it ran really late into the night. It was 12.30, 1 a.m. till we were probably, uh, well, probably midnight by the time we were done cleaning up. It was probably 12.30. Uh, so lo long late nights in the shop, but we got it done. Uh, Mike really kicked ass on uh, getting everything prepped ahead of time. Um, he was able to get all that done while I was doing the day job thing. He was able to kind of work on prepping everything. And then when I came in, we could just do the fun part of, fun part of uh, spraying the base coat and clear coat. Uh, everything went pretty good. We were a little bit fighting uh, the temperature outside. It was dropping temperature really quick, so we had to kind of uh, play with the heater a little bit just to make sure that everything didn't get too cold. Uh, it worked out pretty well. So, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much it. Don't have the car back yet. Um, we're letting Nick cure his shop for a couple of days, and we're going to bring it home, get it on some stands. I'm going to work on finishing up the uh, the frame, and uh, and then uh, we'll start preparing to get the engine back here from the engine builder, get everything together, and then we can uh, give you the money shot of the car bolted back together, but I do have to be patient and wait for the engine to come back because really can't put the engine in on this thing without pulling the, the tub. Uh, you can, but it's, it's just a little dangerous to do it that way. So we'll probably uh, just leave it on stands, let the, the clear coat cure, and, uh, and then we'll do our final like uh, nibbing, cutting, buffing of the clear coat once the car is sat and really the clear coat has fully dried and cured and there's no issues uh, like that. So that'll make it nice and easy. But Mike can do that uh, really quickly once we have it all back together. He can do that. And, you know, that's an afternoon's work to get everything done because the car is pretty small. So really exciting. We have a shiny car. I appreciate you guys sticking with us through this little bit of slow period with the videos. Um, so we're going to uh, hopefully have some updates as we go. Uh, once this car is a little further along and basically on the home stretch of getting on the road, I'm going to probably start jumping on the Sweetheart Roadster again. So I know you guys have been asking about that. I put that on ice till we got the uh, free tee basically where it needed to be. Then I could start regularly working on the Sweetheart Roadster again and give you those weekly updates like we were doing previously. Uh, but I was just kind of too uh, scatterbrained to get all these cars going at one shot so I kind of pushed that one aside for a little bit and I think it'll make that car turn out a little bit better so that I could focus on it uh, mainly I can focus on that car so that's all I have for this one I appreciate you guys following along as always we do videos on Tuesdays Fridays and Sundays if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, please if you like the videos share it with a friend give it a share on social media we really do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us and we hope to do more throughout the summer thanks guys catch you later